Good day, everyone. I am Tony P, and in this episode, we have Xbox console confusion. It's a it's it, it's a longer bit, and I have a special a special guest. So we're covering one thing this week, but it's a good one. This is Tony P Oddcast. So a lot of people ask, do you prefer Xbox? Do you prefer PlayStation? Let's just all agree, no matter what console you're on, you should subscribe to my channel below. So Microsoft makes uh, uh, the Xbox, the Xbox video game console. Uh, and, and recently their discontinued Xbox One X console, which they don't even make anymore, saw a gigantic spike in sales. The jump in sales comes as the same day that Microsoft launched pre-orders for its new Xbox, which is called Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. Yeesh. The timing left many commenters concluding that the increased sales were the result of people buying the wrong thing. People wanted to get a jump and get the new console, and instead of getting the Xbox Series X, they went to Amazon and accidentally ordered the Xbox One X. You can see how that would be just a little bit confusing. According to Amazon's Movers and Shakers page, One X sales skyrocketed 747%. So according to Andrew Alerts on Twitter, he said Xbox One X sales rank is up 747%. I wonder how many people bought an Xbox One X instead of an Xbox Series X. I'm reading this article now and I still don't know which is which. What? While neither Amazon nor Microsoft has commented on the Xbox One X spike, the consensus on the internet is that gamers were just confused because let's face it, those console names sound exactly the same. Of course, a number of Twitter users have jumped in uh, and they're either making light of the situation or, and I agree with saying, hey, if this was a mistake, people should be given refunds. Uh, Troyden, at Troyden on Twitter said, I was half asleep and ordered an Xbox One by mistake. Microsoft consoles names have been criticized by many users and high profile industry folk alike, including PlayStation's former director for strategic content, Saeed Ahmed, who took to Twitter earlier to share his confusion. Obviously I'm biased as he works for PlayStation, but I find the Xbox nomenclature confusing. With PlayStation, I know if I buy a PS5 that it's going to be a generational leap over the PS4. If I buy an Xbox Series X, where does that sit? And what am I missing out on by not getting the Xbox Series XS? Brr, what? So guys, I'm, I'm a bit more techie than the person off the street, but even I was confused. I don't know the difference between Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, Xbox One SS. I can barely say it. So I called in my friend Bill. He's a, a big time video game podcaster. Uh, and he knows his stuff. And so who else to help get me straight is Bill. So Bill, can you help me out here? Bill, 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 Bill. Yeah, well, okay. So uh, Microsoft has always had an issue with their naming conventions. So like they originally had the Xbox. And then when they made the next Xbox, everybody was like, so, you know, Xbox two, right? And they said, no, it's going to be the Xbox 360. Okay, so they're going weird. The next one's the Xbox 7, <laughs> 720, right? Is that what you guys are going to go with? No, no. The next one is the Xbox One, which makes absolutely no sense and is incredibly confusing. And so it wouldn't be Microsoft if they didn't continue the pattern of these weird names that they have for stuff. So there's two new ones that are coming out. Uh, there's an inexpensive version, and then there's a more expensive version. The Xbox Series S is uh, the cheaper one. It's $299. It doesn't go as high as, high as resolution. It doesn't come with as much storage. Uh, and then there's the Xbox Series X, which is more expensive. That one's $500. But honestly, if you're buying this like for your kids or your grandkids or whatever, that's the one you want to get them because that's the one that they really want. I mean, I'm sure that they would set, they'd be like, oh, thank you so much for the Xbox Series S. <laughs> but that's not really what they wanted. They really wanted the X. So I feel like uh, I'm more confused <laughs> than when we started, Bill. Like, all I know, all I know, and I guess all that matters is 
Xbox X is no. the one. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm not even so, doing a bit right now. I really I, I, I got you. I'm going to make it so much easier. All right. Listen, I'm a professional confuser. I can't teach you something until I confuse you first. All right. Okay. So do not buy one that has one in the title. Okay. Gotcha. You want to buy one that has series in the title. So it's Xbox One. That's all older stuff. All right. Xbox okay. series is all newer stuff. And then if you are thrifty, then you want to go for the series S as in Sierra. All right. And if you are um, less thrifty, then you want to spend the money on the series X, which of course gamers will abbreviate S E X uh, for some reason. I definitely don't get to talk to you enough, man. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to throw this little awesome ticker up. If you can tell people where uh, they can find you. Oh, you can find all of my stuff at um, uh, runjumpstomp.com. But what you really want to look for, uh, Tony P. Henderson has been on the show twice, 143 pixels. It is uh, the my favorite podcast that I do. And Tony's been on there twice. So if you love Tony, then you want to go check it out at 143pixels.com. That's 143, the numbers. I would even add, if you don't love me, there's plenty of other guests. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've done it twice. We talked uh, NBA Jams and Super Mario Brothers 3. And again, there's a ton of other guests that talk their, their favorite games and things. So yeah, check it out. Bill, thank you so much. I know you're a, you're a busy guy. You got a ton of shows. So it's an honor you're able to, to, to spend a minute, come hang out with me. Oh, this is one of my favorite shows. Oh, Bill, stop. Thank you. Thank you so much.